Hi, this is Rick again. Today we're going to look at how to create ambient talkers. Ambient talkers are AI that shout and talk to each other and add a, a level of immersion that um, really adds a lot to a mission. So um, I've created like some AI in this area. They're all hostiles. This was used in uh, Zero Dock 30 when the troops fast roped onto the roof and the compound sort of suddenly became awake and all of the enemies started like shouting to each other and they were obviously quite agitated. Um, now that effect could be used in, uh, in a base, obviously dependent on the sound sample. You could have um, soldiers just generally talking to each other as they approach each other. Or you can have, in this particular instance, uh, you know, obviously enemy shouting orders to each other and getting really anxious. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just teleport to the roof of that building behind me. Okay, so now I'm going to activate the talkers. You can activate it with a simple script, which is basically, in this case, it's a script called Talk Compound. You have another script with Talk City or whatever you want, wherever you use different types of sounds. Uh, in this case, the there are 20 sound samples that are used of uh, Arabic voices, male voices, and uh, I'll show you how that how the script works later on. Let's in the meantime, let's just see what it how it sounds. All right, so you get the, the gist. Okay, so uh, I had eight talkers in that little example. There's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All placed in different at different radiuses and different distances. Some of them are moving, so the sound is 3D and is played on the object. So you get a nice attenuation effect as you as it gets closer or further away from you. So the the sound um, obviously the volume is reduced. So um, and you get a nice sense of of distance. Um, so the way that was done is uh, firstly I had to create quite a number of sound samples depending on the number of talkers you have. Um, each one of these units is, has a, a name, in this case, Talker 5. 
talker eight and so on so what talkers one to eight so uh, local variable and in the variable it stores the array of um, all the talkers talkers one two talker eight and then basically it selects a talker from the talkers using this func select random just so it picks a random talker out of this array and stores it in the selected talker variable and then it runs a while loop and it says while alive talkers count count talkers alive x magic variable so whilst alive count the number of talkers that fulfill this function or that expression greater than zero so as long as someone's alive in the talker talker group do the following then there's a variable that stores this array of voices these samples are all on average uh, about four to seven seconds long so even though um, the quite a number of samples doesn't actually use up a lot of space on, or it doesn't inflate the mission size significantly if you store them as mono 22 kilohertz sound files I mean that is that entire group of 20 sound samples is 301 kilobytes so it's um, relatively efficient and um, then so now we have a, an array of talkers we have a selected talker and we've got a list of voices we now need to sel randomly select one of these voices and we use the same process as we did above so we're going to get choose a voice from the voice list using this func select random this little hint isn't necessary but it's just used for debugging and basically it just pulls the first and second uh, and third variables from this little statement at the end here so the selected talker is passed into a variable one placeholder voice into the second and the last one works the distance out between the player and the selected talker puts that in there so I can just get an idea of how the sound works and how it sort of feels and if any of these sound samples are not too great obviously the way this for this to work well you've got to have really good sound samples and you should just probably put a marginal amount of echo on it just to create a sense of depending on obviously where these guys are if they're in a house well then um, you would obviously want to create like a reduce the echo depending on what type of room they're in and you, you adjust the sound samples according to your needs um, then it runs a say 3d remote exit so that anyone any of my teammates in this particular area would also hear this selected talker saying that voice sleeps for three seconds um, chooses another selected talker because this selected talker was outside of the while loop so uh, choose another choose another selected talker um, sleeps for a random five seconds so this process here could take a maximum of eight a minimum of three seconds I said it quite short simply because I at times you want the the voices to overlap as if they're kind of shouting to each other and more or less listening to each other um, so sleep three and then random this could be zero or five so maximum three a minimum three maximum eight and that's it very simple uh, and easy to use and when all of the talkers are killed then this will shut down this while loop or close off and exit and the sounds won't happen obviously you don't want people okay. shouting when they're dead um, and so I hope that is of use to you and uh, if you like this please subscribe and uh, see you next time cheers